I'm Amira David with your 7 Action News headlines. Charges have been filed against a Roseville woman after a three-year-old boy shot himself in Detroit. Jeanette Smith, a CPL holder and owner of the gun, is charged with careless, reckless, or negligent use of a firearm. On Friday, Smith went to a home on Detroit's east side. She took off her coat with the gun inside a pocket. When she left the room, the child found the weapon and shot himself in the head. He is expected to survive. A Detroit family now mourning the death of a two-year-old little girl who was killed in a fire. It happened just before nine last night at an apartment building off of Plymouth Road near Coyle Street. Officials say firefighters quickly pulled the child from the apartment, but she had already suffered severe burns. Investigators believe the fire was accidental, but the cause has not yet been determined. We are continuing to follow the situation at the University of Michigan after President Dr. Mark Schlissel was fired. This afternoon, a much quieter scene than what we saw yesterday in front of the presidential residence of the Ann Arbor campus. Schlissel has 30 days to vacate the house. The University Board of Regents announced his removal yesterday after an investigation revealed an alleged inappropriate relationship with a university employee. Mary Sue Coleman will return to campus as interim president. And a quick check on the forecast with meteorologist Mike Taylor. Hey, Mike. Hey, thanks, Samara. Skies are going to cloud over as we get into the overnight, but that's going to help keep the temperatures up. So not as cold for this evening. Temps just stay in the 20s, but overnight lows will dip down into the low 20s once again. But we bounce back for your Monday, but snow showers will be possible.